Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Man, this AP Micro Macro is tough. John, do you need some help with that? Yes. Well, check out this email I just received. It says, Miss Scribble will be hosting two review sessions on Thursday advisory periods on April 20th and 27th. However, in order to attend, you must pick up a pass from Miss Scribble or Mrs. Smith prior to lunch on the day of the review. Each session will be in room 208. John, do you know where room 208 is? In the old wing. That's correct. You can come to one or both of the reviews. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. Hi, I'm Marissa. And I'm Claire. We're um, Color Guard captains this year. Um, Color Guard is a sport of the arts and where you spin both flag and rifle. It's a very fun, like, kind of dancing kind of sport. We go solo during the winter and during the fall we um, perform with the band. We just uh, finished our winter season um, this past weekend over spring break. Um, during the season, we compete in two different division like types of competitions. Um, this year, we got three first place at different regional competitions, as well as sixth place at states. Um, we also traveled to Chicago for um, a WGI regional, which um, varsity went. Um, as well as we have a JV team that got a couple firsts this year, as well as fifth at their states. In a month or so, we're starting our fall season, which is with the marching band, where we spin um, with the marching band and compete with them. Um, this upcoming Thursday is the band kickoff meeting. For the Color Guard, we spin both flag and rifle at the beginning of the season. Anyone can join from eighth graders to uh, seniors. Um, and two years of marching with the band actually counts as a gym credit. Um, so please come join. What's up, Novi? Your girls softball team had a doubleheader home game yesterday against Howell. They won their first game 7-2 and lost their second game 3-17. Great job, girls. After the first five games got canceled due to rain, baseball finally played their first doubleheader against Howell. They won one game and lost one game. The play again tomorrow against Wild Lake Northern. What's up, Novi? The track and field teams have relays this Saturday. Make sure to be there to support them. The boys lacrosse team played Ann Arbor Skyline at home. Victory, six to four. The boys are now three and zero. Yesterday, the girls lacrosse game got canceled. Their next game is next Monday on the tenth against Plymouth away. Good luck, girls. Hey, Novi. We just made episode three, Cultureverse. Caden, tell me what it's about. We talked about Marble, Ninja Turtles, Better Call Saul, and there's some more that we talked about just for little subtopics. I suggest you go check it out. Don't miss it. Peace out, Nova. See you there. I'll be honest, Nova. We don't get everything on the first take. Sometimes these takes take a lot of takes, and no, that, that's, that's You said horrible. take too many times. I'll be honest, Nova. We don't get everything on the first take. The good news is, some of these failed takes are actually quite entertaining. So, starting next week, we're going to be putting out at least a few bloopers every single episode until the end of the year. These bloopers date all the way back to September, and they're just... Ah, oh, this is... this is... Ah, I... oh. Some of these takes date all the way back to September, and we'll show you a side of the Cat's Eye News you didn't know existed. So keep an eye out for those in the coming broadcasts. What's up, Wildcats? Today we're going to be asking the seniors where do they see themselves in 10 years. Let's go. I'm here with Dirk. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, somewhere being successful in any type of way, shape, or form. Indeed. Gabby. All right, Bella and Gabby. Where do you guys see yourself in 10 years? Somewhere in Europe with my husband, you know. Um, probably very rich and living a good, lavish lifestyle. Alright, I'm here with Nolan. Alright, Nolan, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully living in my own house and having kids and doing what I love and doing what's best for me. Sounds good, sounds good. Alright, so I'm here with... Sydney Gary. Alright, Sydney, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? 
Um, hopefully just doing what I love doing the most, singing, writing my own music, producing music. Abraham. All right, Abraham. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, but I feel like I might be a pilot. All right, I'm here with... Lindsay Royston. All right, Lindsay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You know, I see myself realistically in medical school because I'm going to be a doctor. So, yeah, probably about to be rich, but not rich yet. So just anticipating that. Thank you. All right, I'm here with... Charlotte Regan. All right, Charlotte and Regan. Where do you guys see yourself 10 years from now? Um, I either, well, I want to be graduated from college and either playing pro softball or coaching. Um, I hope I'm graduated from college and have a job and maybe be married. All right, I'm here with DG. All right, DG, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, probably a private chef. Okay. Nico? All right, Nico, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Probably an accounting firm. That's it? Yeah. 